Hello everyone. Hope everyone's having a great Easter. I'm just sitting here decorating paper. Uh, I've got a few pieces done here and then I was going to do this one. I did this piece. And I did this with a piece off of a potato sack. I've got these two pieces here, which I got a little heavy on in a couple places, but that's okay. It can be cut out. I did this with lace. Did that orange one. Did this yellow one. And I done it with a piece of this it was white lace that I've been using on a lot of my videos. Right now, I have a piece. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. The bags that rocks come in. From the Dollar Tree. This here. I have a piece of it taped down really, really good. Got it stretched out. Hoping this one turns out good. I really like the way the potato sack turned out. But I've got a plate down here. I'm going to put me a little bit of white paint on. Don't need no whole lot. And I got me one of these pouncer brushes. You don't want a lot of paint on your brush. You get some paint on it. Dab it around on your plate. You don't want no whole lot. Because you, you got to do this lightly. I'm hoping as fine as these lines are that this turns out good. Just push it up and down. That's all you gotta do. But you do have to tape whatever you're using down good. So it don't move around on you, which I'm sure y'all can see all this tape all over my table. And I'm just using the apple, apple barrel paint from Walmart. That's what I'm using. Figured I'd change from black to white. Wish I would have had full sheets of the pink, but if I do, I haven't found it, so I found two pieces, so now I got a little heavy there. I'm hoping that don't hurt it, as long as it's not so heavy that it runs, you'll do, you'll do okay. I could have cut this. piece down a little bit more but I wanted to leave it big so I could do bigger sheets of paper and you do want to do this with a dry brush or sponge should I say I don't know why I'm saying brush I started to use a stipple brush but these here work a lot easier, a lot better. Hoping I'm not losing my design from where I put that on heavy. I am gonna get me just a little bit more paint. Go back over it a little bit more and hoping it turns out.
Just trying to put some darker spots in this. Hoping it don't mess it up. Don't know what I'm going to use this paper for yet, but will probably be to make flowers. But I really want this design in this paper. That's why I'm going over it. And I think I have it. Just give it a minute there to dry. I didn't have a big piece of the potato sack because I usually tear a hole in my potato sack to hang it up. And I uh, had to cut it down to a small piece, so. But I really liked the way that turned out. That would have been pretty in black also. I think it's a really pretty pattern. You could use these for a lot of things. Tags. Cards. I could mix some color in this, but. I'm going to leave it like this and see how it turns out. But right now i got to give it a few minutes to dry. Which it doesn't take long. I just don't I want to make sure it don't smear when I pull my tape up and take my paper out. I'm excited to see what it's going to look like. I think this kind of looks like Honeycomb pattern is what I think it looks like. So far, all I've thought about is the potato sack, the lace, and then this bag that rocks comes in. Which I know a lot of us crafters has got these bags because we use the rocks. Which that does look dry. All I got to do is get my tape pulled up enough to where I can slide my paper out. Doing it very slowly. I really taped this one down good because it had a lot of, well, y'all know how these bags look when you take the rocks out. They're all, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but anyhow, I had to use a lot of tape on this one, but I would rather use a lot and tape it down tight then it move on me and mess up my my paper and i have not done one of these yet so we'll all get to see what it looks like and of course you can reuse this i reuse my lace twice Yes, I like that. It's pretty. Let me get this piece of tape off my hand here and I'll show y'all. Made some pretty paper. I think I got a little heavy in spots, but that's okay. This would have been pretty done in black. Uh, if I had a piece of, another piece of pink, I would do one in black oh 
This here is thin paper. I'm just going to rip a piece of it off. I'm going to stick it under here, and I'm going to see what it looks like with black. Since i got a little bit more time left on my recording, all i got to do is pull this back. Pull it back down tight. Mm, I've got it there pretty good. I'm going to put me a little bit of black on my plate. I think I can hold this piece down. This probably won't turn out just completely black because I've got white in my sponge. But that's okay. I just want to see what it looks like. I want to make sure I hold this down. And of course, I'm getting heavy with it. I'm always heavy handed with stuff. And this paint will clean off of the table. Pretty easy. When you hear that where it sounds like it's sticking, it's time to reload your brush. This is just a scrap piece of paper, so I'm not too worried about it. Just wanted to see what it looked like. Because once you get them dark spots, there's no taking it off. Yes, got another one in it. But I think that's good enough to see what the black's going to look like. And let it dry here a minute. slide this out and if I hadn't I got heavy in them spots there that would have turned out really pretty y'all see that but like I said it's just a scrap piece of paper but you can really see the pattern in that black but I think my I like the I do like this one too don't like where I got heavy with it but that's okay. This right here's the potato sack. And I think I like it best. But since I was sitting here piddling with paper and whatever else I could find, I thought I'd come on here and do a video. Haven't been doing too many lately. Been suffering with migraines so I thought I'd come on here and do another video I did a couple last night uh, hope y'all enjoy this video see what you can find around your house to make some pretty paper and uh, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe hit that thumbs up button and I shall see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.